we are at Congressman Ro Khanna's office right here in Silicon Valley District 17 and we know that we get a rare chance to see him here because he's working for us all the time at Washington DC. Welcome Ro to your India TV with me Jasleen Khanuja and first of all how's the feel traveling back to your hometown at this point in time? Well it's wonderful it's great to be back home this week. I I'm home a few times a month and it's great to be back home. Mm -hmm. So today you have made a congressional recognition as well as you've uh, given awards to some of the kids who have made it to the World Robotics Championship. You've always been promoting and supporting the technological uh, causes. So tell us a little more about this. Well, we're very excited. We have a team here from our district, CD17, that won the entire championship, world championship, competing with teams from all over the world. They partnered with a team in South Dakota, so showing Silicon Valley partnering with South Dakota to be able to win. Very, very proud of them and they're really uh, a model for our state and for our country. That's wonderful. So just because you've, you're taking care of all the technological aspects, you know, being a representative of Silicon Valley, I want to ask you about a very common issue, which is data privacy these days, you know, with smartphones and smart technology all around. We know that a lot of devices are recording us all the time and a lot of our metadata is also being shared across, uh, which uh, uh, makes us not feel so safe a lot of times. You know, I don't want to give out my phone Number, but it goes out to the marketing campaigns a lot of times. So what are you thinking on, on these lines to prevent this uh, and making people feel safer? Well I propose the Internet Bill of Rights. Mm -hmm. Speaker Pelosi had asked me to do it and that says you should have the right to your own data. Mm -hmm. You should have to consent before giving that data mm -hmm. and we need to pass privacy laws and the Internet Bill of Rights and I've been mm -hmm. active in trying to get that done. Wonderful. So like America is also moving towards the manufacturing sector at this point in time. We see the CHIPS Act being in force where the federal funding is cut off if the manufacturing is going to countries like China. Now well, uh, since we are here uh, India TV and we are a little bit focused on India, we see some opportunity here for uh, Indians back in India as well. But what's your overall take on the advancement of manufacturing here in the US of A? I was proud to draft the Chips and Science Act that the President uh, uh, signed and we need to bring production back and we're bringing production back for semiconductors mm -hmm. uh, with Intel in Ohio. We're bringing uh, science and technology funding back mm -hmm. and America needs to, to be a manufacturing superpower again. For all the division in our country, we're showing ourselves in the world that we can take on the biggest challenges. We can take on the special interest and that democracy can deliver for the people of this country. That's why I'm confident that decades from now, people will look back at this week with all we've passed and all we've moved on that we met the moment at this inflection point in history. A moment when we bet on ourselves, believed in ourselves, and recaptured the story, the spirit, and the soul of this nation. Thank you for this. I want to just congratulate our great students uh, and uh, also in the arts and in uh, uh, all of the community service and we're very proud of the robotics team. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much.